Assign a gang to Kitty Kingdom. All right, give me a second. First, I want to see. Nope, don't want to turn them on. Stable, can't sleep. What was that real magic? The neighbors. Rachel left. Okay, so that's all our entries I've already read. And. Don't fancy my hair falling out faster than it already is. Ooh, roof access. Anything up here? Oh, sorta. Not really. Alright, let's finish exploring. Whoops. This little area. Am I carrying way too Oh, yeah, because I got the. Dog meat. Are you still in the elevator? Hey. Hey. Pop. A woo. Right. Um, actually, I need a. Uh, let's see here. Take the wrench back. I want to hang on to the sword. Why do I have the missile launcher? Oh, I guess you can't take it from me. You're carrying too much, aren't you, little buddy? Darn. Alright, that's okay. And then let me set. Whoops. Yes. Now, where is it? What was it called again? Sort of Wonders. Yeah, whoops. Oh, yeah. Look at that beauty. Okay, so. Other side's chained up. Okay. That's fair. What's up top? Any goodies? Trinkets, treats, or supplies? That's a big old negative. So, signal flagpole. Which gang do you want to assign to Nuclear World's Kitty Kingdom? The more territories assigned to a gang, the more tolerant of you they'll become. Disciples are prepared the pack. The disciples get it. It's kind of a joke. I'm giving them the Kitty Kingdom playground. Ha ha ha. What's their flag look like? Oh yeah, slashes. They're little five ticks. A magical kingdom! We've done it, everyone! We've given our first... Did I see things happening down there? Oh, it was... It's little cars. Ah! <sighs> you know the video for this that showed the, uh... How do I get around? Is this door open over here somewhere? Oh yeah, it does right here. There we go. It showed the... In the trailer for Nuclear World, it showed the... Player character, well, in first person at least, riding the rail. The... Roller coaster ride. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. I wonder if you can actually do that or if it was just something they did for the trailer. Well, let's. I need to go drop some crap off. Why is there power armor here? I don't get that. I think it's a lie. I think it's lying to me. There's not really power armor there. I know better. Ah, oh gosh, what do I. Strong backs mixed out. Hacker. Lock picking. Lady killer. Actually, it wouldn't be bad dealing with the fact that some of these raider bosses are ladies. Might help me persuade them. You know what? We'll do it. There. I know I'm not going to make them happy, but. You know, shut them up for a minute. Fist top grill. Fist top mountain. The parlor. Call the Carters, Duke of Town, Redburn Amphitheater. Alright, so the bottling. Okay, let's see here. Safari Adventure, I'm gonna give to the pack, because that just makes sense, the animals and stuff. And then Dry Rock Gulch, I think I'm gonna give to the pack as well. And then I think I'll give Galactic Zone and the bottling plant to uh, the parlor. These guys, the ones that are at the parlor, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head all of a sudden. I'll give them these two, and then the pack can have these two, and then these. The disciples can have this one spot and get all pissy at me, I don't care. But first, let's head back to 
But is it Fist Top Mountain I want to go back to? I think so. Let's go back to Fist Top Mountain. Just crazies? Just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Okay. Learn about the Hubologists. Ooh, where are they? How do I learn about Hubologists? Shut up. You're gonna say something stupid, I just know it. Oh, you gotta go over there? Oh. We might do that. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I wanna go up here. I need to stash some gear. Might as well do it here. You wanna come up here with me? Dog what the hell are you doing? Don't walk off the edge! Yeah, walked off the edge. Goofy boy. Alright, so. Got the overboss's power stuff in there. Just transfer the junk into here, I think. Which. Longfellow has. Dog meat! The dog meat. Heads up. Dog meat. Give me your crap. We'll do this real quick. This and this. No, we're not keeping that one. This one, this one. Both of these. Keep that. Give me all of those. Keep that. Give me all of this. 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 Keep those. This. 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 Mm, yes, like that. Keep that. This. 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 One of these. Oh, <gasps> there's Zipper. And again, we're good. Alright, you hang on to all the rest of that, okay? Heads Longfellow. up. <clears throat> Give me all the junk. No, I can't just hold the button down. Come on. Alright. So you oh. okay. Alright, so. Let me store all the junk. Let me take back the pre-war moolah and uh, let's see. Was I stowing? I know I had kind of come up with a plan, Stan. Maybe I took everything back to. You know, what? I'm just gonna throw all the guns in this trunk. Guns. Guns, not stuff. Okay, so. Keep, 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 keep. This can go in there. This can go in there. These can go in there. All these can go in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Go in there, and there, and there. Keep those. That. Keep those. That. That. Keep those. Keep that. Whoops. Oh well. Dogmeat has the other one. It's fine. That. Actually, you know what? Let's just put the apparel in here, too. Why not? I'm going to transfer it back to my other place eventually, someday, anyhow. Alright, and then I just have to drop off. I'm just going to drop off the uh, foodstuffs that I... Where's the... It's, the... it's in here. That's right, yeah. Food. Alright. Alright, so let's see here. Meat. turn on the radio and listen to that for a little bit, I think. But, we're done here. So, let's head... Actually, no, we're... Is the elevator out and we're out? Or is the elevator down and then out another door? You know, I don't remember. At least I get some elevator music in this one. Ba, 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 ba. 
right, and then I gotta go through these doors. <sighs> All right. Need some bugs. Hmm. What's up? Can you give me an update on Nuka World? Not much to tell. Still, got to get the rest of the parks under our control, you know. Hmm. Nope, nothing. If you say so. Oh, I really do want Gage following me. I wonder what is our affinity. I imagine if I do one or two more good things, it'll make him happy. All right, let's actually trump over here. I want to learn about the herbologists. Or I should say more about the herbologists. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's their camp. All right. Uh, I'm assuming this is the wall. I can't just walk through here to get out. No. So let's actually just do a quick little fast travel to the USA. If I fast travel here, can I get out? Or do I have to go through this? You know what? Let's just make it easy. I'll just go to the station and we'll just go straight to their camp. Oh, nice. So since we're going to do a little walk-in, let's listen to... It's Red Eye here, running Raider Radio. You Hello. love it, and you know it. Yeah. Tell me stuff. Who oh. wants some good news? You. I do. Is it you? Because I got some. Tell me some. I say Kitty Kingdom, and you immediately think what? Ghouls, Ghouls. right? Well... Think again, halfwits. Not only did the overboss what? wade in there and wipe him out, he was nice enough to take the one ghoul left with half a brain and give him a friggin' job. You believe that? The disciples are now kings, or I guess queens, of the castle out there. So you lot play nice. So, I told you about Atlas, the meanest raider to ever wander this world. Okay. How he fell for Hope, a beautiful raider from a rival gang that didn't give two shits about him. Now, like I said, Atlas, he was used to getting his way. So he gathered up a big old army of raiders, marched right up to the town where Hope's gang, the Junkers, was all holed up. I mean, and he demanded I she come out and talk to him. God Hope, it, as strong as she was, very politely yelled over the wall and told Atlas exactly where he could shove his intentions. I hear she launched that oh, nice. golden Brahmin right back over the wall at him, too. Atlas, as you might imagine, didn't take too kindly to being disrespected. But in his own special crazy-ass way, he found himself wanting hope nope. even more. He was in a bind now, you see. He couldn't let her insults stand, but he wasn't ready to just up and storm the town and risk killing hope in the process. Oh, that'd be bad. In my opinion, folks, ain't no relationship worth this kind of trouble. I'm just being honest with you. Anyway, so Oops. Atlas calls out a few of his lieutenants, talks to them all quiet for a few minutes. Then these poor saps march right out in front of the wall surrounding the town, and I swear to you, they set themselves on fire right then and there. Over the screaming, Atlas yells that if he can convince these good men to set fire to themselves, imagine what he can convince the other couple hundred men to do to their town. Personally, I'd find that a pretty convincing argument. But, oh, she ain't backing down. She yells that Atlas can set himself on fire. That'd get him about as far as anything. Now I tell you, when Atlas hears this, he gets angry beyond all reason. And he slams uh -oh. his giant fist down on the ground. As the story goes, windows shattered in Diamond City. And a whole section of Lexington comes crashing down just from the shock of it. Hope and her gang wake up the next morning and find their town the only thing still standing as far as the eye can see. Atlas says it's the last oh, threat he's gonna make before he storms their gates. And honestly, between us, the whole thing's already gone way off the rails. Now Hope head, head. is a good woman, a raider through and through, but she takes care of her own. She knows there ain't no way her little gang can stand up to Atlas and his army. So she knows what she's gotta do. The white flag goes up, and Hope herself walks right out the front gate. Says if Atlas gives his word that her gang is safe, she'll go free. Only he's got a shake on it. Atlas, proud man that he is, takes her up on that offer. And it's not until he's shaking her hand that he hears the beeping. 
Oh. Clever woman that she was, Hope went and strapped herself up with more than a couple of mini nukes. She knew what she was about. Couple? Now, I am told that on that day, the sun might as well not even have come up. For all the good it did next to the brightness of that explosion. Really? Men, hundreds of miles away, went blind. Birds oh, dropped out of the sky for days after. And for as big and as tough as he was, they ain't never found all of Atlas. Damn. Like I said at the top, true story. All of it. There are moral in all of this. <laughs> moral of the story. It is don't let us turn out the way you want to. Reader Radio. You love it and you know it. What in the hell is going on over here? Who wants some good news? You? Is it you? Oh, that's a death claw. Who's shooting at the death claw? Right? Well, think again, halfwits. Not only did the overboss wade in there and wipe him out, he was nice enough to take the one ghoul left with half a brain and give him a friggin' job. You believe that? I'm a nice fella. What can I say? Are now kings, okay. or I guess queens of the castle out so. there. So you lot play nice. I need... This next one, I've been hearing some shit that I ripped this off or whatever. That's, that's bullshit, man. It ain't true. I wrote this. I swear it. Ultra Jet. To the rescue. Uh, Red Eye original, you could say. Hey there, fella, what you doing out here all alone? Hasn't anybody told you you're better off staying home? See, these roads ain't safe at night, especially if you're on your own. Not Ow! Someone like me, get yourself knocked upside the dome. Give it what you got, I'm only gonna count to ten. Give me what you got, I won't say it again. Chuck. It's not a bad song, but we need to talk to our new friend here. Hey, new friend. Um, excuse me, gentle sir. Hi. Are you happy? Truly happy? Uh, you name it's cleansed. Should it be your name. Fairly. I think I'm fairly happy. Then you are not truly and completely happy. Oh. I can show you the path to true happiness. Oh. The path to enlightenment through hubology. It can relieve you of your burdens, help you find the true happiness you so desperately want. It can also unlock the true potential of your mind, giving you great mental powers. Really? What is hubology? Hubology is the science of unlocking the full potential of the human mind. Ooh. It brings true happiness and peace to those that walk its long path. Dara is much better at explaining this. She's an AHS-9. Oh, Come with me and she can answer all your questions. All right. What's uh, a HS9? AHS9? Is that some sort of code? That is her rank in the great wheel of hubology. I am but an AHS6. She sits at the hub of the great wheel. Oh. You can ask her all these questions yourself. Follow me. Okay. Lead the way. Oh, I haven't. I remember the first time I met Havologists in Fallout 2. What is this? Oh, blood worms. <laughs> hey, give me. Dead, at least. Oh, I'm coming. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, not another one. Let's do this. Give me something a little more old. Uh oh. Hang on, he's gonna sting me and kill me with like one hit if I don't take. Uh, I need something cooked. There we go. Oh 
nice. What did you get? Bastard. Okay, how overfat am I? Six pounds, okay. Then I should probably just drop. I have Fever Blossom to go weigh my rads. Something does. Alright, well. Let's see, what do I have? We need a blood. No, I don't drink this. I don't care. Made me feel good. So, friend, how long have you been a herbologist? He's not gonna talk when we walk, unfortunately. Look how cool if he did, though. We're heading over to the settlement here, right? Yeah. Across the bridge, so I don't have to go through the hoop water. Let's say red rat. We found you. Rat? Should have just run. Oh, pop. Red rat pop. Okay. I need to do some cooking. Is there a cook station up here? Stop. Heh, heh. Whew. Longfellow, look alive. I don't, honestly, I don't think I actually have I'm much junk. Where are we going in at? Right here? Now we're going up this way a bit more, I see. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. We found your camp. You guys live in an old... What is this, a red rocket? Oh, it's a fancy red rocket. With the automated arm and everything. Ooh, that's cool. Man, gas was expensive before the war. Whoopsie, I was this way, sorry. It's a giant fire hydrant. Maybe I'll sell some crap instead. That'd be easier. 